There was an old farmer who lived in the green hills of Wales. He wasn't particularly well off, but he had enough money to keep a cow who gave him milk for cheese and cream, and he also kept a well-tilled vegetable patch where he grew carrots and cabbages and potatoes. This old farmer was a solitary soul and he liked his routine. Every day was the same. He would milk the cow and then he would set the big jug of creamy milk to sit on his doorstep while he went to weed his vegetable patch. One morning, when the farmer came to pick up his jug from the step, he realised that somebody had taken a slurp of his milk. There was a whole inch of creamy milk missing. Fury churned in the farmer's belly because he knew exactly who'd taken a drink of his milk. It was the Tolwith Tear, the fairy folk, the little people of Wales. They were always the ones who took a little crust of bread or the last juicy apple from the store. They liked to feel included, liked to feel that the mortal folk were taking care of them in return for their work in keeping the land healthy. But the old farmer wasn't happy. It was his milk for his cheese. But he knew that if you cross the toll with tears, they can be tricksy. So he said nothing. But the next day, when he came to pick up the jug of milk after he timid his vegetables, the same thing had happened. The same inch of creamy milk was missing. And this time, the old farmer was hopping mad. It's not fair, he thought, those scrounging little fairy folk. Degon, ew, degon. Enough is enough. He'd forgotten, you see, how much the toll with Tig had done for him in keeping his cow healthy and his vegetable patch green and growing. So the next day, when the old farmer milked his cow and set the jug on the step, he reached into his pocket and took out a big handful of salt, dropping it into the milk. That'll teach them, he thought, well pleased with himself. And along came the toll with tears. They put their little hands on the rim of the jug, dipped their heads down and took a deep slurp. And then, <coughs> spat out that salty milk all over the farmer's vegetable patch. And to this day, not a single vegetable has grown in that vegetable patch which is how the fairies taught the farmer a lesson for being so stingy. <laughs>